This is my first full week living in DZ. A couple of Amazon packages, I made my first Amazon order. A number of you said you would like to see my apartment criteria. One of the reasons that I wanted to come into Marshalls is I'm looking for a drink bottle, the admin tasks to be able to set my life up. We're gonna go to Costco. Happy Wednesday. This is my first full week living in DC, which is crazy that I get a, can even say that out loud. I live here now. This is my home. So many people have been like, welcome home. And I'm like, that's weird, but I guess they're not wrong. And I'm just so excited. That's actually been a lovely few days settling in. The weather has been incredible. It's been so bright and sunny and warm, and it just makes me so happy. But I have had the best time settling in. I just went to Whole Foods and I picked up some flowers. And I also picked up a couple of Amazon packages. I made my first Amazon. Amazon order. It's not very exciting, but I'm going to put the flowers into a vase and then unpackage my little Amazon orders, which I might do first actually before I do the flowers. Anyway, the last two days I have just been doing a lot of admin stuff. So I have a phone number now. I also set up the smart trip card, which is the public transport card thing for DC. First thing I grabbed is a little retinol from The Ordinary because I ran out. When I left Australia, I didn't bother repurchasing a few of my skincare products because I was like, I'll just repurchase them when I get there and it's one less thing to pack. Anyway, as I was saying, admin. I've been doing a lot of admin, tying up loose ends. I canceled my Australian phone plan, kind of. I switched it to prepaid. So when I live overseas, I like to switch my account to prepaid. The other thing that I purchased is a giant lint roller because a lot of my clothes are really fluffy, including this shirt. Although actually this is not so bad. Anyway, uh, so those are the two things that I purchased off Amazon. Not very exciting, just skincare and a lint roller, but I'm so excited to actually start purchasing like fun home stuff. But back to the thing that I was talking about. I've lost my train of thought already. It was my phone plan, my Australian phone plan. So when I live overseas, I don't get rid of my phone number. I just go to prepaid and then just put the smallest amount on it every 90 days or something. And then I have my phone, my, my Australian phone number is never switched off. I have a dual SIM in my iPhone and I have the Australian number running constantly. I just don't have data roaming on, so it doesn't charge me anything. And Optus doesn't charge you for receiving text messages and phone calls when you're overseas, which is kind of incredible. I hope they keep doing that because I really don't want to be charged for receiving a phone call. But yeah, I've just been doing admin stuff, lots and lots of admin, trying to get on top of things. And it's been just a really nice couple of days. I've really enjoyed being back and being able to spend time with my boyfriend and then just feeling like I'm in control of my life for once, you know? It's been months of just living in limbo, not really having any control over my life and just waiting and waiting. And for the first time in a really long time, I feel like I can do things and I can make choices and then I can see the results of those choices. So for the last two days, I've been also booking a bunch of um, apartment inspections. And I have two booked in today. I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up making the second one, which I might just move to tomorrow if I can't make it. But I do have one in the next hour. So I will, after this, get ready and head out to that apartment tour, inspection, viewing, whatever you call it. But it's just nice. It's nice to actually be able to do things and start being proactive with my life. So I've seen a bunch of apartments and I'm so undecided. I have a bunch more to see. I really wanted to go through all of the options because I've spent months apartment hunting and I have so many things listed and I just I want to go through all the options. So a couple more days of apartment hunting, but then I should hopefully be able to narrow it down and jump on something, which oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to have my own space. I'm so excited to be able to do this, get regular flowers. I have more flowers because the hydrangeas my boyfriend got me did not last very long because they're hydrangeas and they're so temperamental. And what else? Oh, we didn't end up going to Annapolis over the weekend. I mentioned in my last video that we were gonna go to Annapolis. Didn't happen. We ended up just having a really chill weekend in, I think Saturday ended up being a really cloudy, rainy day. So it was me and my boyfriend and his best friend who like all three of us were gonna go to Annapolis, but we ended up just staying in and actually just kind of playing games and quizzing, like quiz games and things all day. It was really fun. And yeah, I think that's pretty much most of the update. I'm gonna pop these flowers into this vase and then get myself ready to go to this apartment inspection. Oh no, I broke one. Oh, why does this always happen? Every time I do flowers, I always lose one, but these are really cute. To be honest, they're a little like dead, not dead, but they're not 
exactly alive either and honestly they should have been discounted because this little lily looks a little sad but they were only five bucks so I'm not going to complain but I think that they should have been discounted and you know what if I had left them by the end of today they probably would have been but I just think the orange ones are so bright and fun and really cute. I have made it to the little apartment. This is so cute. Now some buildings will let you do a self-guided tour. So they've given me the keys and a little pamphlet and I just get to wander around and have a look at everything myself, which makes it so easy for me to stand here and talk to you. This is a little studio apartment. It's a bit too small for what I'm looking for, but I just wanted to get a feel for the apartments in this building because they don't have any one bedrooms currently available. And it's really cute. It's actually quite bright and light, which I really like. So over my broadcast channel, I asked what type of stuff you would like to see in my upcoming vlogs and a number of you said you would like to see my apartment criteria so today I thought I would quickly go through my apartment criteria the first one is a one bedroom I just think a one bedroom would fit me a little bit more than a studio the second thing is having a white or a light kitchen so that's white cupboards or maybe a light wood color or even a light gray but light kitchen and definitely a light backsplash number three a kitchen island would be great but it is is not necessary but I tend to gravitate towards apartments that do have a kitchen island. Number four, I really like light wooden floors. I much prefer them over dark. It's not an absolute must, but I'm describing what would be my dream apartment right now. So the lighter the floors, I don't care if it's like a yellowy wood like this or if it's a gray, but just light floors. Number five, I'm gonna stay away from carpet. I'm not a big fan of carpet. I much prefer wooden floors with rugs. Number six, I want east, west or south facing, north, maybe if it's really high up and it gets really good lighting, but east, south, and west facing are going to get the best lighting in the Northern Hemisphere. Back in Australia, it's actually the opposite. It would be east, west, and north that you wanna face. The next one is I don't wanna be facing too close to another building or another set of windows. I want to have at least a little bit of distance between the next building. Obviously having a really beautiful view would be amazing, but that's not always something that is easy to get. So just not too close to another building. And the last thing that I am looking for is a building with a pool. The great thing about DC is most buildings actually have a pool because it is so hot here in summer. So that does make it a little bit easier, but I think that's all my criteria. I do think it's gonna be hard to find an apartment that has all of those things and that's totally okay. I'm so willing to like give and take on some of those things and I'm gonna get as close as I possibly can. Anyway, the current apartment that I am in is actually a little studio. It is a little bit too small for me. They don't have any one bedrooms available in this apartment complex. I thought I would just take a look at this little one because it is really cute and it gives me an idea of what the one bedrooms would look like. I just got home and I was gonna go from the apartment viewing straight to the social security office because I need to get myself all set up to be able to live and work here. But it has actually gotten really hot out there. I knew it was gonna be like 30 degrees today, which I'm gonna have to learn Fahrenheit, which I'm pretty sure 30 degrees is like 84, 84, no, 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And I knew it was gonna be hot, but when I left, it wasn't that hot. I was like, I could almost take a cardigan. And now it is way too hot and I need to put a dress on before I leave the house again. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna go and test out being on a bus for the first time. I really like public transport. I think it's a fun way to get around and I love trying to figure out all of the different routes and things like that. So I am now gonna go and figure out the bus system.
I just got back. I had to wait an hour and a half in the social security place to get my social security number. So I now have my social security number, which is really exciting. I feel like I'm starting to tick off a lot of this admin stuff. One of the things that I was really worried about before I moved was that I wasn't gonna have <laughs> the energy for some reason. I just felt like I was gonna be so emotionally exhausted that I was going to struggle to get up and do all of the admin tasks to be able to set my life up. You know, the apartment hunting, the mobile phone, the bank accounts, all that kind of stuff. I really just thought that I was gonna be too exhausted to be able to do it. And I'm so happy that I'm not. So I'm slowly ticking off this list of stuff. I have my social security number. I have my phone number. I have my transport card thing, which is in my phone, which was so easy when I got on the bus as well, just tapped on and super simple. I still have to get a bank account. I haven't done that yet, but one step at a time. I did have another apartment viewing this afternoon, but I've actually rescheduled it for tomorrow morning because I just felt like this took too long this afternoon and I'm pretty drained and also uh, my boyfriend's on his way home from work and he's gonna message me when he's close by and I'm gonna run out and jump in the car because we're gonna go to Costco and to Marshall's. He wants to return something, which reminds me, is it in here and I need to grab it or does he already have it? I don't know. Anyway, he wants to return something and I wanna get a couple of things and we're just gonna go and do a really big Costco shop, which I'm looking forward to. And before I do that, I'm just gonna hang out the load of washing that I put on before I left. I was trying to be efficient today and do a bunch of things all at once. So thankfully this is done. I can just get this quickly hung out and then yeah, he should be here. I just gotta make sure he's got his stuff that he wants to return, but oh, I'm looking forward to Costco. It's gonna be good. One of the reasons that I wanted to come into Marshalls is I'm looking for a drink bottle or a tumbler or something because if I don't have something cute to drink water out of, I don't drink water, which is not good. And I need something. I kind of really like this glass tumbler. It also comes in the green. I'm almost leaning more towards the blue. I think it's gonna be one of these two because it's been really hot the last few days and I have just not been drinking water and I need something. I'm thinking maybe this, although I just found this floral one at the back, which is kind of really cute. Even though I'm most certainly not here to buy any home decor, I'm still looking. There's so many cute things. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to start picking out pieces to put into my new apartment. I just have to find the apartment first. This little mushroom, glass mushroom, is adorable. I don't know, these ones are all terrible. They're not very good. What's up there? Nothing. The little dumpling candle. It's so cute. I know, I want dumplings now. <laughs> I did end up picking out a new drink bottle. I went with the glass tumbler with the blue silicon. I don't know what this is. It's like a handle holder strap thing. And then it just has the plastic straw and like the bamboo lid. Super cute. Uh, the brand is Halo, I believe. I've never heard of it, but to be honest, I've never really heard of a lot of the brands that are usually at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but I needed this because I've already had a full one this morning. And prior to today, I had barely had any water at all. So I definitely need something and I'm really happy with this choice. I just really like blue right now. It actually also 
also matches my mug that I recently got from TK Maxx when I was back in Melbourne. So this is just like my spring color. I feel like blue always just comes out in my decor and my wardrobe whenever it hits spring and I love it. So that was the only thing that I ended up picking up from Marshalls. And then we went to Costco and did like a big grocery shop. And then this morning I got up and I went to another apartment inspection, which I really liked. And then this afternoon, we're gonna go head back to the very first place I went to because I really like it. And I think I'm narrowing it down to one of the two places that I'm going to today. So in the next week, I might actually have an apartment, which is crazy. But yeah, I'm, I'm like this close to being able to figure it out. I think I'm gonna wrap this video up here and go and get on with this apartment stuff this afternoon. And then I will see you guys very, very shortly with some more apartment hunting videos. Thank you.